varsity club welcome back to another classic Ray up. ladies and gentlemen give that man a gold glove and a hold one that is a perfect like a double play leave a like in the video subscribe if you're enjoying the content let's jump right back into the action jumping right into things we got to tell Marte this dude has been killing it 17 home runs I know that Anthony Santander is getting a lot of our MVP race and talk and rightfully so but man this dude has been absolutely electric this year first pitch I kind of jinxed him a little bit so we're just going to ignore like everything about that at bat Mount Castle's getting an opportunity to play today keep in mind uh key Brian Hayes is actually out for one to six days he sprained his ankle he'll be back pretty soon but sprained ankle take our precautions not making him play we are first in our division winning by one game so you know we got an opportunity to let him sit first pitch inside strike tied up at 2-2 one well, out nobody on for Mount Castle dude has plenty of power and pop in the bat but that one goes right to the first baseman Carlos Correa has been terrible on the road incredible at home he just won some of that you know stuff on the road to pick up a little bit batting below the Mendoza line and on the road is just absolutely terrible full count for him Correa 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 number 12 of the season asking you shall receive he said oh I can't hear you good game brother well I'm sorry okay I was wrong you turned it around imagine having to face Carlos Correa who's starting to really pick up everything right now and then you got to go against Vlad Guerrero Jr and then after him you got to go against Santander that's a tough three four five Vlad Jr sitting here with a two two count all right one of those has got to get out of the ballpark still sitting here at two 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 outs. We're going to take that and make it a full count. Get on base, Vlad. Oh, that's literally right to the left fielder. I mean, the man didn't even move at all. On the mound for us today is uh, Mr. Jose Barrios, okay? This guy can get the job done. He's had a rough start to the season. One game below 500, but that can change today. First battery's facing. He's got a 2-2 count against Ozzy Albies. Nice location, and we're sitting that man down. Barrios is definitely, like... A boom or bust kind of guy. Like, I really feel like he could just be a stud on the mound. We just need him to put it all together. His biggest issue mostly has just been he gives up innings three to four, a lot of runs, and that's what hurts him the most. And when his slurve is working, which he almost got Dansby Swanson there, he's pretty deadly, and that's been when he's won most of his games, when that thing is working. And we started the game with back to back punch outs, but this is the toughest batter he's going to face today. Mr. Acuna Jr., who in real life is actually hurt. Go for a speed recovery for that guy, but. See what he do virtually here. Nice little cut. Strike out the side would be an incredible way to start. Oh, we almost had him. We got him. Barrios is on fire right now. I would have loved to have had Flag Guerrero Jr. You know, on base and have Santander up, but Santander up by his own to start the inning. Keep your things moving here. Got a hold of one, but he's a little off center. That was going to be deep to center field, but it's a can of corn. He readjusts himself, but it's still in his glove. Glenn Frazier coming up 2022 gold glove award winner having a pretty good year not again great but for what we're paying him seven and a half mil a year I'm not mad at his results one two count got to be careful sat on one poked to the center field it's going into his glove I'm not mad at the contact we're making the contact we're making is absolutely phenomenal it's just it's going right into their gloves every time except for the one that Correa hit which went out of the ballpark this one nope case in point Suarez is going to be up here Rios again, 2-2 two -two count. He's a little heavy into some of these accounts. He's throwing more balls than we probably want him to early. Coming back with a slurve. I think his best pitch, he barely gets a hold of that. A little two-seamer working high and in. I mean, this dude is staying alive. Same thing here with the two-seamer, just opposite side of the plate. This man's a wizard. Slurve coming right back at him. A little higher. Right at the third baseline. Mount Castle again, not our everyday third baseman. Pow. He's still getting the job done. Marcel Ozuna. Solid year for him, but this is a guy that has a hot streak in every single part of the plate. He can definitely go yard whenever he wants. We haven't actually thrown a change up in a long time. We're going to try to bring one here. He picked the right time. Rio started off hot, man. Those first three strikeouts of the game were incredible. And then he's cooled off a little bit. They're figuring him out, but he has four strikeouts now. He's trying to get that fifth one here against Daryl Cooley. Back with the slurve, a little low, and he doesn't even entertain it. Going to do the slurve in a similar spot, this time in the zone. Little play to the second baseman, who today, Jalen Miller's out. We're going to have our guy, Bobby Witt Jr., playing in his place. He makes a solid play. Picking up here in the top of the fifth inning, Santander is up 0 for 1. Remember, had that deep fly out earlier in the game. See what our team can do. No one has scored since that Carlos Correa home run in the first inning. 
a little underneath that one fouls it off 23 home runs 56 rbis currently third in the mvp voting that's free has been doing pretty well so far in the mouth for the braves he has one we're underneath of it but good god a little late a little underneath that could have been close to being out first out of the inning was obviously there we got clint frazier back up for our team and only one hit for both sides one hit for us was a home run one hit for them Bruh. didn't really do much and this one just like a rather attempts at getting a hit it's not doing anything jacob stallings back up again melendez getting a little bit of time off here Let's see what stallings can do against the lefty stallings is tons of power ladies and gentlemen he ripped one and we got another base hit we've doubled our base hits but stallings has zero speed so it'll take a lot to get him in Bobby Wood jr who's had a really good year coming off the bench for us being kind of a not an everyday guy but as we need him kind of guy takes that first one to make it two two one guy on two out for Bobby Wood jr takes that one to make it a full count now hoping for a good one here give that man a gold glove what a snag Rios back up here bottom of the fifth inning still hold on to a 1-0 lead only given up one hit so far today in my opinion that was definitely a strike but they're not gonna give him the benefit of the doubt we're playing in Atlanta's ballpark so they're gonna get that call trying to slurve a little bit closer to being inside here hung that one up and it got creamed good news for us though is that it was foul not fair so here we go back again lost the control this is what I was talking about innings three four and five are tough for Barrios oh as soon as up one guy on the movement though I'm back with the movement again same pitch same exact result. Daryl Cooley's up. We've got seven strikeouts. Looking for number eight here. And we got it. Jesus Aguilar 0 for 1. Strikeout in the third inning. See if we can get him a punch out here again. A hey, benefit of the doubt. I'm here for it. That makes up for the other one. One two count. Smarter is still on first. Change up outside. He doesn't swing at. Two two count. You love to see it. Three strikeouts in one inning. That's my pitcher. We are here in the top of the seventh inning. This is still a crazy close ball game. Rios has only given up one hit. We have three hits in total. It's been a burner. Woo, we almost win. Reeves still only in the 80s for his pitch count. I want to get that up a little bit. We need him to get up out of this game, bring in someone from the bullpen who we can take advantage of and get some hits. And Freed has like a seven plus ERA coming into the game. He's pitched incredibly well so far today. <laughs> Time there. Get it up out of here. That one is gone. That one is deep and it is out of here. Santan Dare. However, you want to spell it, you just abbreviate it. MVP. Just like that, they're going to get that man up out of the game. I don't blame him. You give up a shot like that, a laser out to left center field, you got to pull your guy. He pitched very well. It's just one hit too many hurt his team. And for him is going to be Nathan Eovaldi, 4-1 of the year, 1.90 ERA. Okay, this is going to be a challenge. You see Santander go deep. We got Clint Frazier right behind him. Not going to be out of the ballpark, but that's still going to be deep enough to scare him a little bit there. Almost to the warning track, but it's an easy pop out regardless. This is one of those games where we've definitely been boom or bust, man. We're either hitting a home run or we're basically getting out every single time. Stallings back up. Never had that hit earlier in the game. Good eye there to take that as a ball. Valdi coming back in. One high and Stallings. I repeat. Oh my God. Are you kidding me? Deepest part of the ballpark. I know, but I thought that was gone. Bobby Wood Jr. Line out, ground out. Still batting 242, two home runs, 11 RBIs so far this year. He's been great. I have no qualms at all with what this guy's done coming off the bench for us. Nice cut. Try to keep the inning alive for us here. Two run leads, great, but another run would be fantastic. Ooh, no shot he went. Fire that umpire right now. You got our guy Barrios in here, and he's got tons, and I mean tons, of stamina left right now. It's like he's barely even pitched at all. Two six innings, a little over 70 pitches, and he's coming out here trying to get out of, make it a quick inning too. He's got Dansby right where he wants him. Two-two count. Sit down, young fella. Sit down. Right now, he has 11 strikeouts on the night, and the dude could go the entire nine innings right now if we want him to. He's having an electric game. He's really been one of the weakest points on our pitching staff, so if he turns it around, good God. The league is in trouble. They're taking pictures out here. Get the bat off your shoulder, or don't. We'll be okay with that, too. Suarez is up here. We got a full count. We're going to risk it. Oh, he made good contact with that one. Easy play for Correa with the one hand using it off the dirt. 
gotta love it We're going in here to the top of the ninth the uh braves are going to make an adjustment here they're going to bring in luke jackson they've had in the bullpen for a couple of innings now just sort of getting loose 3.380 array but he's facing that man right there anthony santander in my opinion the mvp santander ready to go got a hold of one it's dropping a lot quicker than we thought maybe it's that atlanta air but it pushed down quicker than we would have hoped clint fraser over three this man is literally dying for a hit right now Rios has only given up two hits today. We have six as a team. Down the line, but it's foul. One-two count here for Frazier against Jackson. Nice movement on that pitch, but it's right to Dansby Swanson, who's going to gun him out pretty easily, I'd say. Jacob Stallings, potentially the last guy we're going to see for our team here in the top of the ninth inning. One-two count, trying to hold on to a close lead. And uh, yeah, that's definitely the last hitter you're seeing for our team today. Throwing it down. They got him out. See Rios and get the job done. Freddie Freeman. Coming up here, Arios having the best game he's had all season. Get down the line. Throw is made. Barrios a little behind. Barely got that man out. Pandemonium in Atlanta. Ozzy Albies is rarely hitless, but he's 0 for 3 so far today. Barrios is trying to make that 0 for 4. Nice little play here for Correa. Scoop. Got him. Barely again. Dansby Swanson is all the stands between a two hitter and our guy, Jose Barrios. Ladies and gentlemen, he has done it. A one hitter would have been great. A no hitter would have been better. We will take a two hit performance by Jose Barrios. A complete game shutout. Domination at its purest. Again, recapping what he did today. Nine innings pitched, two hits given up, 14 strikeouts and one walk. The best game he has pitched by far. I'm hoping there's more like that coming. Picking up a few games later, we're facing the Nationals at home. It's a 1-1 game, bottom of the ninth inning. Black Guerrero Jr.'s up, which is something pretty good. But Ryan Harper again on the mound here. Just came in, no pitches thrown. Guerrero, that's the one he wanted. The game being tied, just got to get on base. The home run is great, but we don't need that. I thought that was it for a second. He got a hold of one. He's driving it deep. He's still running. Put a shy of the warning track and just an out. Santander sitting here with the one for two game single and an RBI. If anybody can end this game, it's our MVP right here. Got a hold of one that is a perfect, perfect contact. Center field is going back. He's going deep, and that right. one is an out. Yeah, I'm going to be honest. I thought that was, uh, I thought it was going. The contact was incredible. It's the deepest part of the ballpark, unfortunately. This one is going to be an out and well, extra innings. Here we come on the mound for us right now is Mr. Michael Feliz. This guy's been good out of the bullpen this year and he just got the benefit of the doubt on a strike. Trey Turner still playing for the Nationals in this universe in real life is now a member of the Dodgers, just like his guy Scherzer. So far, Feliz is absolutely dealing against him. Hung up that slider. That one's going to be easy for Clint Frazier, though. Could have been a whole lot worse. If someone else was up there that had more power, he might be in trouble right now. Darlin Castro is coming up. Remember, in extra innings, there's going to be a guy starting on second base. So a double or a liner to the outfield is probably scoring the run. Big opportunity here for Feliz to get Castro out. That was close. Feliz is getting tired. Probably not making it past this inning, but Castro is swinging terribly. And we got two down now with one on. We got a couple guys up in the bullpen right now. Victor Robles is up now. I feel like that could have got a strike, but it went either way. Bring it though in something that might be a double or something here. He does foul that one off with a slider low and outside. He missed way outside. Look, a ground out here is great. So I'm just gonna try to get a couple of ground outs here. Potentially a couple of ground balls are fine. I said that I'm going with a high fastball here. It was the gamble worth taking. Please four strikeouts and short innings work. You gotta love it. Jacob Stallings is up now, man. This dude needs something good. I'm dumb. I forgot the reason that Stallings is playing every day. It's just Melendez got hurt. Melendez is out for a while. So that explains why Stallings is still in the game, but he gets a hold of one. The field is going back. This should be enough to at least tag up the runner. We're going to send him. That's that arm. Oh, this is actually online. This might be a double play. I hate to see it. In fairness, I felt pretty good about that, but I forgot that we had Clint Frazier on second base and not somebody that's actually like a burner. You know, man, that hurts a lot. Harper again still on the mound. And well, Jalen Miller, it was a good idea. It just didn't work out in any way, shape or form. Bottom of the inning, here we go. 
actually meant to say top of the inning here we go but we got lucas sims coming in 1.66 era he has been very good for us in relief let's hope that stays the same here jock peterson the first guy he's facing the fastball look great we're coming with the fastball low and that's way too low and way too inside gonna lock this one in tight again doc is gonna swing he swings at a lot of crazy stuff sometimes change up down and away or we hung it on the plate and he did not swing i'm okay with it bobby dog backs up now that change up outside is looking horrible at the moment maybe he's nervous maybe he didn't warm up enough but he looked like he was warmed up enough but these pitches are not looking great would be surprised if they took a pitch here soon just because of where we are oh no they stole third risky and it paid off keep in mind that's victor robles that just stole second to third so we should have paid a lot more attention they're actually going to score the go ahead run here we try to get a swoop on that one despite our best efforts it's an easy tag up and Washington now has the lead to one Byron Buxton has a triple a double and a single he is literally a home run away for the cycle nice little location there by Sims coming back a low with a fastball got that as well I love it Let's see what we can do here with the slider try to get him out of the inning Lucas Sims did a good job there it's just we gave up the steal and then the pop out I hate to see it but it is what it is here comes Tanner Rainey 15 of 17 this season in his save opportunities he's facing facing lucas sims but he's not getting an opportunity to face him we got chirinos who i hate having here sammy siani bobby wood jr or our pitching staff we're going bobby wood jr to replace him bobby hasn't been terrible again all we need to do is score one run here we have jalen miller on second base which benefits us one of our faster players bobby got a hold of one it's going back the left fielder's already thrown out one guy but with an 80 speed guy oh my god this dude's got an absolute cannon I thought we were out, but they said we were safe. Lolo Sanchez, a guy that tried to throw out their guy at home play and was unsuccessful. It's up now. Batting below the Mendoza line. Folks went over here. That's going to score a run. He's going to be safe on base two, which is great because he's fast. And we could potentially get a walk off here if we get the right guy hitting it up at the bat. He, Brian Hayes, coming off that sprained ankle. This is the guy we're looking for right now. 0 for 3 in the day, due for a hit. Probably shouldn't have swung at that. Hayes is also one for 10 with an RBI in the series, so it's been a bit of a struggle for him, but he's obviously got to get that rust off. Oaks one to right field, but it's significantly foul. O2 count. One out, one on. Got to be careful here. Oaks one, we're a spot that I don't think anybody can really get to it except for the right fielder. And he did just that. Correa's up. We've seen what he's been able to do this season. The tie game, we're obviously going into at least one more inning, but I want to try to end this right now. Correa pokes one to right field, but again, it's like Buxton out there in right field. He's not going to drop that at all. We're going to have with Diaz. Obviously, we needed to bring somebody in because we can't have a position player on the mound. But more than anything, we need to get out of this inning and get our guys up and have an opportunity to walk off in the bottom of this inning. First pitch look good from Diaz. Second one, a little outside. Keep with a fastball diet here. A little high. Slider outer part of the plate. We hung it and we got the strike. We're in the back half of their lineup too, which is honestly great news for us. But if we're throwing balls like this, we're in trouble. They got a guy on second. We got to remember that. Fastball inside. Location was great, but he fouled it off. Similar spot here. Put that in place so we can catch it. Very close. This dude fouls everything. We're going to go two seamer a little high. Perfect location. We battled and we got him out. One down, one on. See if we can get out of this one. No chance really to double play here. Donnie Bell again, the eight hitter. They have to go in and get somebody and pray you off the bench and their next guy because they're going to have their pitcher up. Low with a fastball, a little heat on it. Foul that one off as well. Go slider away. That's working. All right, so they're going to bring in Carter Kaiboom or Keyboom. Not really sure who this guy is, but hopefully we don't really remember him after this at bat. First ball is going to miss. Slider again, same spot. I think the ump is blind. This guy's batting 0-62. With runners in scoring position and we're throwing him balls left and right thank god he swung fastball again low forcing a ground out if we can look at vlad guerrero jr they had i believe trey turner on second base so one single and that would have been a run austin voth coming in i mean they're running through pitchers at the moment we're running through everybody we don't have really many people we can really bring in so we need to end this right now correa's on second we got our main guy up at vlad guerrero jr highest batting average in the team and he hits one deep left but a foul Last bat in 317 with runners in scoring position. You got to love that. Pretty much identical to his actual batting average. And you hate to see it. Easy play for the first baseman. One down. Santander. 
Had a perfect, perfect hit earlier in the game that we thought was out of the ballpark. Could have ended it, but unfortunately it did not. Can he do it here? Good eye on the first one. He's batting above 300 as well with runners in scoring position. Get something to happen here. Inside as well, they're nervous, you can tell. Off trying to get something good here for Santander. Probably didn't need to swing on that one. If we had played a little bit more safe, we might be sitting on a 3-0 count, but still ahead 2-1. Up the middle. <gasps> he fumbled it. Santander is going to be safe, and now we've got an opportunity to get something good. I'm saying pinched runner, but Santander is too good. If we keep going the extra innings, I want to keep him in. My hope is we can get a ball put into the outfield. You put into the outfield, deep left field. You can probably get Correa in. 54 speed should be enough to get us out there. Oh, that would have been a home run if it was fair. We're a tiny bit early on that too. If we weren't, it's gone, or at least it's what we need to get the sack fly. Laying off that. The last thing I want to do is get a shallow pop out that doesn't let anybody advance. We need a single or something deep. And we're not swinging unless it's a good one. 2 1 count right now for Frazier. He's ready to go. That should be enough. This is going to be tough. How good is his arm? The Rams going to go home. This throw is looking a little wide. Close, but no cigar for the Nationals fans. Correa gets in. If he had 53 speed, the man is not going to get it. Frazier is hyped. They're trying to tackle this man. No one get injured. Okay, stay healthy. We got some key injuries. I don't want those to be run rampant. Player of the game is Mr. Jose Barrios, who pitched today as well. Six innings pitch, six hits, giving up eight strikeouts, one earned run. Edwin Diaz gets the W, though, in one innings pitch with two strikeouts. Santander had an RBI, as did Lolo Sanchez, Clint Frazier. I can tell Marte didn't have the best game, but we somehow snaked out a W. Now I'm not mad at it at all. Be safe, be smart, tell somebody you love them. Catch you guys in the next one.